Hello everybody. I am up here just west of Tehachapi between tunnel 16 and 17. That's tunnel 17 behind me. Up here gonna work this evening. Uh, came up here at 3 o'clock. I'll go home at midnight. They had me go home during the day and rest so I wouldn't go on the hours of service. They're expecting a snowstorm. They want somebody up here to babysit the high wide detector at Summit, which I'll be at later. I'll do a little segment from there as well. <clears throat> I don't think it, the storm's gonna, I don't even know if it's gonna make it, but if it does, I don't think it's gonna be that severe. But anyway, I just thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, catch a train coming out of Tunnel 16, going into Tunnel 17. Uh, while I don't consider myself a train fan, a uh, rail fan really, I, I, do, I do know that a lot of other people like to watch them uh, in person and on YouTube. A lot of people come up here, uh, the stretch of railroad between Tehachapi and Bakersfield uh, is a very popular place for train fans to come up and get some pictures and catch, catch some uh, cool train stuff. And I don't dismiss the importance of the job I have or the impact the railroad has on, on society and train fans in particular. But anyway, just thought I'd come up here and uh, check it out. There's uh, Highway 58 right across the uh, ravine there from the railroad tracks, and there's Tunnel 16. There are uh, 12 tunnels left on the mountain. Uh, some of them were added after the original. Yeah, there were 17 originally, then they put two more in front of tunnel before you got to tunnel two and the old when they had the line going through the old roadbed in Calini Creek they called those tunnel quarter and tunnel half. Uh, tunnel quarter was uh, bypassed in a line change in the late 1800s when they did the double track project in the 80s they blew up tunnel halves called daylighting and uh, got rid of that tunnel. The next one missing is Tunnel 4, which was so badly damaged in the 1952 earthquake, they just covered it up and bypassed it. The tunnel is still there. You can see the ribs of it sticking out, and they've got the uh, west end of it, or the south, north end, whatever. They've got it covered uh, with cement. Uh, tunnel 5 is there. It's the longest tunnel on the mountain. I'll uh, do a piece from there comes right into the north end of cliff. Tunnel 7 and 8 are still there. 9 is the bottom of the loop. 10 is the top of the loop. 11, 12, and 13 were uh, all daylighted uh, for one reason or another by line changes or, or the damage from the 52 quake. But uh, 17 is the last one on the mountain and we're going to catch a train coming out of it. So let's check it out.
small boats in the tunnel. Competition going up the freeway, the trucks. I got nothing against trucks, they're vital to our society's infrastructure, just like trains are. And there are a lot of them on Highway 58, especially when you want to get up the hill in a hurry. They're playing train. Acid. Those cars carry steel, gold steel. Train approaching Bealville Road. Coming up on me. At about 23 miles an hour. They have been running trains up the yin yang, and I am completely unable to get any work done. And I still have to go. units that aren't running. There's three of them. Four. This might be a whole train. Dead units. Oh, there goes some real cars. Must have a unit shortage somewhere, BNFS. I am at the, uh-oh, uh lost my focus there for a minute. My phone's just like me. But I am at the uh, south end of Bealville. I have a broken uh, shunt wire, a broken feed wire for my great crossing predictor. And I can't go out there and fix it in the OS without tractor, without foul time or some sort of automatic protection. So, I'm going to get back in the truck, 
Get under the heater. Wait for all the trains to go by. Hey, under babysitting the high wide detector. I wipe it down off snow off it for all the trains go by. A little snow coming down. is the local working at Monolith right there. Coming back up this way, switching in and out of the plant. We said the only thing that could make Monolith look pretty was nighttime, because all you can see then is the lights. Get a shot of it after uh, the local gets out of here. But anyway, there's a high wide detector that I have to babysit. This, there's one over each track. And before each train comes, as long as it's still, I gotta get out and look, make sure there's no snow on these uh, emitters that they have uh, lasers that go from go from the bottom, they shoot up, and they'll catch high high wide high loads, wide loads. I'll do a segment on on detectors along with my the rest of the how the railroad works stuff. I'm gonna start doing. Join me. Out here at Monolith, one of the last places that has any snow on the ground. It doesn't have much, but uh, Andrew be coming up here and uh, we're leaving me here in a couple hours. Into the storm watch for this session anyway. This train going by the plant here. Portland Spit Company. I think it's uh, actually owned by Lehigh now. Uh, we'll do a little segment on it at some point. Hopefully get a tour. That is where Highway 58, the old highway, crosses the tracks. S curve there. See the glow in the background? That's Tehachapi. Shining on the clouds. Double stack container train. That's it for Monolith.